this is refreshing. How about we scrap the New Year's resolution? Ask yourself if you're actually ready to give up something from one part of your life to achieve your goals instead. We've got new strategies to make you feel better about making and keeping those resolutions in 2015. Please welcome Nicole McCants. You're a registered psychologist. Good morning. Yes, thank you. This is, I love your fresh perspective yes. and approach. Let's talk stats. One in three people make resolutions. Yes, and by the end of the week, so basically by Sunday, 75% of them would have already not followed through on them. And you guys were chatting about this earlier, yeah. right? So By, not even for a week, right? let alone 12 months. Change is hard. And I, I believe that the issue is the January 1st start date. We are exhausted. We had a late night the night before. Yeah. We're probably hungover. We want to eat healthy, yet all the grocery stores are closed yeah. on January 1st, right? True. So I think part of it is... What if you were to ask yourself what actually works for you? A lot of my clients are having Monday being their new year because that's where they feel they have the most um, gas in the tank to actually make a change. And there is too much pressure around that one date. And like yes. you said, a lot of us spend the holidays indulging and being with family, you know, eating those things, those comfort yes. foods that make you feel so good, that make those traditions so special when gathered yeah. around the table. So don't be so hard on yourself and stuck on that date. Exactly. So number one, I think th there's a lot of pressure. And what happens is at the end of the week, people feel disappointed and guilty, right, because I didn't do it again. And that's not a way to start a new year. So there's a couple of tips I have that people can really make a change and it will help them be okay. successful. Number one is prepare. So if you are going to make a change on Monday, can you prepare, meaning actually find out where the gym is that you're going to go to or get all the groceries that you need and don't have any access to sugar because you know if you have access to sugar in your home, you're going to indulge. Because you know what's there and once you start. Exactly. And the third and most important is get support. Tell the person you live with that you're cutting off, you, you know, you're no longer drinking coffee or um, for example I have clients on Monday they have a whole bunch of girlfriends all doing a cleanse together right so if you do it together you're more likely to actually follow through there's a support system it keeps you yes. honest now a lot of people who are single dwellers home dwellers I know they use social media to keep themselves honest I see it on my timeline all the time I where they're it. like I'm going to the gym here's a picture of me putting on my sneakers because you guys will keep me honest yes. you could use that too yes, if you live point. on your own right absolutely and you can check in as well right yeah and yes. then you talk about sacrifice so in yes. part of the preparation, if yeah. you say you want to try working out more, let's yes. say that's such a popular one, or eating better, yeah. right? Once you've stocked up your pantry, you talk about sacrificing one thing to yes. allow this so in. So for example, if I want to start going to the gym Monday morning, I'm going to have to sacrifice an hour of sleep. And a lot of people don't want to sacrifice, which is why we don't actually accomplish our New Year's resolutions. It's hard. Change mm -hmm. is hard. Bottom line, right? So are you willing to do that? Am I willing to lose sleep to get more fit? And if not, that's okay. Just accepting that that's your choice rather than trying, failing, and then feeling miserable. Because the guilt is worse. Because exactly. You go in a downward spiral yeah. where you feel so hopeless and helpless and then you just indulge and then you more. Eat. <laughs> and then you go home and you're like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. So... It just are you ready to sacrifice? That's really the bottom line. And if you're not, because even I have clients that say, I want to um, spend more time with my family, which means I won't get, I have to leave work a bit early. That's a sacrifice too. Mm -hmm. And if you do it in small increments, it's not so daunting a task. Exactly. Right? So you talk about maybe going for a walk outside. Exactly. It could be really teeny tiny things that yes. have an overall effect on your day to day routine. Yeah, and that, that fit into your life. If it's dramatic, you're used to doing life a certain way. Like you, you likely won't do something something major it needs mm -hmm. to fit into your life like buying a medium coffee instead of a large would be a perfect example something you're still getting your coffee but you're weaning down and you barely notice I love that so it's less guilt and more getting out and doing and not yeah. so much pressure on making it this big huge thing yes so then it does become a part of your daily life I know my yeah. husband before he turned 40 a few years ago he said he wanted to get back into shape because he felt he had just got stuck in that rut and yeah. he didn't feel good but he didn't really feel prepared to get out of it yeah so he started every single day working out only 10 minutes and I was like 10 minutes why even put your runners on <laughs> then he built it up to 15 because yes. it seemed doable then 20 and he stayed with that 20 25 minute cardio zone and he lost a ton of weight yes. because it was such a little bit of a of a difference every single exactly. day and even just telling yourself I'm just gonna get to the gym because once you're there you're pretty good the music's on you're you're pumped up but it's actually getting there is the hardest part 
right? Yeah. So I'm just going to get there. I'm not going to pressure myself how long I'm going to stay. I'm just going to get there. And you will fall off. We're human. You're going to fall yes. off. You're going to go eat some, some junk food yes. or whatever it is. But just like be better the next day. Well, the biggest mistake is that people try to do their New Year's resolutions perfectly. And if you fall, exactly, tomorrow is a new, a new January 1st. A and new if it's start. too extreme, it's impossible to maintain. We even see it in Hollywood. They have millions of dollars. They've got it's trainers. True. They've got really chefs. Good. They get so ripped for a movie, male or female. And then three months later, you see them and they're like, maybe sometimes the biggest they've ever been because yeah, they true. feel so deprived. Or some of them can't lose weight and they have access to all yeah. of that. Like this is hard, right? So yeah. are you willing to sacrifice, make it yours, pick a new January. It doesn't need to be January 1st because you're going to come up with an unrealistic goal yeah. and the probability of failing is 75%. Is high. So take it easy on yourselves. That's great exactly. advice. How do we find you? Is it Twitter? Is it a website? Yeah, Twitter and just my name.com, Nicole McCants. Nicole McCants. Yes, you McCann. <laughs> I already used up my one pun for the year. McCann says you McCann. More beats here after this. Thanks, Nicole. I had to. I saw